Do we recommend that players finish the journey before playing this chapter? This combat difficulty is also higher in this chapter compared to the normal storyline. Wait, are you joking? <laughs> oh no! Okay, but like, I hope this is just sparring. What the hell? What is happening? March 31st, 2010. Dude, these games suck. These games literally, like every Persona game starts in like April or like in this case, March 31st. My birthday's March 25th. It never falls in any Persona game. It always the gets answer? skipped. It always We're ends right before right? my birthday and starts We're right out. after my birthday. Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? I'd forgotten. Okay. You had his for safekeeping. He had mine. Oh, come on. Don't start this game like this now. However, surveys show that the number of people who report serious stress in everyday life has not decreased. Oh, no shit. Imagine people feeling stress. Oh, when did it get so late? Wow. Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here's a recap of the news from the 30th. What? The 31st was yesterday, right? Oh, timey wimey fucky shit. An hour later in Igus's room. Hey, this is where we had robot sex. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I uh, spent with him. Every time I mention robot sex, it gets depresso mode. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> I'm just never gonna mention robot sex again. <laughs> oh man, this is weird. I'm Igus. Academics needs work. Charm, kind-hearted, but I'm fearless courage, but my academics needs some work. <laughs> I guess has awakened to a new power. Athena has metamorphosis into Orpheus. Holy shit, that's so cool. Forgive my manners. I forgot to introduce myself. This feels like I'm playing a whole different game. <laughs> As if we don't already know who Igor is. The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. Roll credits. All who live journey in search of the answer. And they reach it at the journey's end. Roll more credits. <laughs> Oh, Akihiko, there you are. God damn, I missed you, bro. She's on her best behavior now. Looking good as always. Hold her anyway. Wait, I just realized you could totally put like a slice of bread in uh, Igus's forehead now. It's like an actual toaster. Just put a slice of bread in there. <laughs> hey, you want to burn your bread? Right in her forehead. If we're stuck here for long enough and we run out of food... Fuka's worried about food. We are worrying about the real issues here. We have no choice but to enter here. Dude, Metis is so sus and they're all like voting her out. This is actually a game of Among Us right now. We'll Black be kind of sus you. though. Uh oh, no! So like, okay. Here's the theory. The whole journey was about the the moon god. So the answer is all about the sun god. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the sun god is mad by what we did to their brother, the moon god. And uh, so they're like, you know what? You're gonna live the same damn day every every day of your life. Oh wait, sister, sister. Cause technically Nyx was a she. You put my sister in, in moon god jail. <laughs> wait, I'm not talking to Ken. Ken I, <laughs> I want to go through the door. I thought that I was going through the door, not talking to Ken. This is really satisfying being I guess you just like shoot shit. Oh, dude, you can even see her projectile. Dude, she can hit from that far away. Look at that. Fuck, that's sick. You can shoot enemies from like five years away. Whoop. You can't clearly understand his feelings as he did before. Oh, dude, that would have been the best. 
we are Igis and the, like we were able to speak to Koromaru before and I thought that we would be able to talk to Koromaru as Igis now and you can't. The more Igis becomes human, the less cool robot shit that she can do. That's really lame, dude. We lost Orgia mode. We lost the ability to talk to dogs. What's next? She's gonna lose her Naruto run next. Oh my god, can you imagine? Okay, so like this is a checkpoint. Okay, so this place is gonna be covered in doors is what this game is telling me. We're just gonna get an infestation of doors. This is... What the wait, heck? Weren't we just inside? What are you doing out here on a weekday? Shouldn't you be in school? Oh, but it's spring break now. Spring break? That was a couple months ago. It's June now. What? We time traveling now. Could the June he mentioned be... Ju June, June of, of last, last year. year? What is happening? We didn't go forward, we went, we went back? Are you saying this is the past? Oh, wait! If this is the past, does that mean Makoto Yuki is here? I love being Igis! I can Naruto run anywhere I want! Look at me go! Whoa! That's some scary shit. Let's do it on this side. Boom! Whoa! Huh? Is this? That's the horny jail. Chad, do you understand that that is the biggest plot twist ever? That's such a big plot twist. That's a bigger plot twist than anything that's ever happened in this game. <laughs> Never ignore Akihiko Senpai. Oh my God, our horny jail! Does this mean I can now take Akihiko away into the horny jail? Yo, Akihiko. You and me. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck! He doesn't come with me. <gasps> oh, a Yukari weapon! Pog. Who needs to buy new equipment, dude? Buying equipment is for plubs. 900 yen. Never mind. I shouldn't laugh. I, I know, sometimes after a traumatic incident like this, people can... I'm not lying! And I really saw it! We've already found the car and what's left of the driver. We just need an account of the accident now. <laughs> that brings back memories. Oh, it's like in the past. Oh, we just watched a memory. Oh, that's like whenever... Okay. Dang, dude. So he's even younger! Ah! Hey, Metis, what was that about? Oh, I like that Akihiko goes all like protective dado mode around Ken. It is so fucking cute. He cares about Ken so much. I never knew who I want to take. Like, I could take Mitsuru, but I really don't want a fucking Marin Karen meme. Like, I could definitely do without a fucking Marin Karen meme. All right, memory time. So we got Ken's last time. So I wonder who's it gonna be about today. Ah, Wait! Oh, it's me! Whoa! Small Akiko! Look at it! It's free, it's different! Sorry, but I don't see any reason to join a school that places second. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> baby miss you. I heard it gets crowded after practice, so I waited here instead. Is that- wait, is that Mitsuru? I'm assuming. She looks so different. To tell the truth, I thought that girl was crazy until I first summoned my persona. What was I supposed to expect when you gave me what looked like a gun five minutes after meeting me? <laughs> <laughs> that was the best way I could think of to get your attention. You can do a lot of other things to get his attention! Wait, what? Strangely, the door knob won't budge at all. I don't know, I don't know who Metis is, I don't understand her, but I think that 
these doors are like... I think this is Makoto Yuki coming back from the afterlife to get us to fucking move on. What if he's just like... What if... What if the door is like... Uh, what if like the door is representative of him and he is going... I don't know if it's him though. It, it might be somebody else. But I don't understand the doors and where they come from, like what they do. But like, we're facing our memories, maybe like regrets, maybe like just tough times that we've had in our past so that we can learn to fucking move on with our lives. This, this whole game, this whole answer just be Makoto Yuka coming back, be like, bitch, get over me. I think that's what this whole thing is about. But I still don't know where Metis comes into all of this. I have no idea. Maybe, whoa, 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 whoa. What if Makoto Yuki, what if his soul took over Metis' body? And he's using Makoto, Makoto's using Metis as a, as a means, as like a, as a medium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. All right, I'm gonna shut up. I tried to make it not sound stupid and then I ended up sounding stupid. You can't have one singular best friend because then your other friend gets like really fucking pissed, pissed off. Same thing applies especially, I feel like especially to the Persona fandom. If I pick a favorite, like 90% of other people get fucking pissed off. What? That's your favorite? That's stupid. Why? Why? Catch is your favorite character. You're fucking dumb, man. Aki's gloves look stupid. Oh, oh, they're Jack Frost. Oh. Oh, it's Pyro Jack and Jack Frost. That's so cute. How do you think that looks stupid? What? Are you on drugs? That is the cutest shit. Look at the, look at the face. They're so cute. All right. Now he's going to do it. Oh, Mabuka. But still, we're dead. Oh, we're not dead. We're just somehow still alive. What the hell? How are we alive right now? Oh my god, that counter! <laughs> the Tetracard. My skills have improved. Akihiko, your skills have improved. Where are you at right now? Fistmaster! Hmm. <laughs> Akihiko's a fistmaster. We're helping this guy drown his sorrows over a girl. Now, if that ain't a mood. Don't let it get to you. That's what you get for going after someone like <laughs> Kari Takeba. Now he definitely needs to go to the club, man. <laughs> go get some drinks if you're dealing with Yukari. By the way, are you using a skill support skills to your advantage? Blah 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 blah. Are you using support skills to your advantage? Because I got Marin Karen and it is the best support skill in this entire game. Do you need Marin Karen? I got Marin Karen. You should totally put me on your team. I'm completely useful. I heard you needed Marin Karen. This message brought to you by the Kirijo group. <laughs> Hashtag sponsored by Kirijo. Yet another reason to put me, the great Junpei Yori, on the team. I'll pull you out of any jam, no matter how bad it gets. Especially if you're worried about fire attacks, just call for good old Junpei the fireman. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Ask Fuka to use Oracle. Got it. Oracle, standing by. Gotta find out what it is somehow. Sorry for the wait. Invoking Oracle. It was a success. Akihiko Senpai is in trouble. I guess. I just got beat up by Akihiko. That is the best way to die. What did he just get? Fistmaster? He should have used this that on me. <laughs> if only he would have used that, man. That would have been great. <laughs> on me or Akihiko? Me or Akihiko? Let's do it on me. Take this! Mind charge. Yo, I got my magic mirror ready. Bring it on, bitch. You're going down. Uh oh. Delete this shred. I didn't know that he absorbs it. Oh no. Delete shred. Delete shred. That was a bad idea. Bad shred. Bad shred. Bad shred. Bad shred. Ah! Yo, do that like physical. Oh no. He's going to get a lot of healing there. Oh god. What a roller coaster of a fight. 
Light! Light will work on the Megadola mind charge. We're fine. Do I get like a gold star that says you tried? Because I would want one of those right now. <laughs> you tried. Oh no, last resort. Well, he died. Holy shit, nice. All right, nail down the tank. Uh... Summit. I'm taking matters into my own hands. And you know what? We're probably gonna die because I'm so fucking done right now. But I don't give a fuck! Why can't you just hit? Is it really that fucking hard to hit? You know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Use Oracle! I swear to God, it better work. If it doesn't work, I'm out of here! Sorry for the wait. Invoking Oracle. Careful, the enemy's going to attack! <laughs> that is perfect timing. Persona. And he evaded. Okay, game. I love you too. Now's your chance. Alright, sister. Let's get him. On a scale of one to done, how done am I? But let me just tell you guys how done I am. Oh, come on. Of all the things you could have done, are you for real? Fine. Fine! Aw, that was very kind of you. I appreciate that. Aww. He cares so much. He's like, bro, you are the definition of suffering. Let me help you with that. And yeah, I am the definition of suffering. Oh, you're gonna mind charge now. I was gonna raise somebody, but I guess I'm not raising anybody now. There it is! Who needs teammates? Who fucking needs them, dude? Teammates! Friends! <laughs> to hell with that! <laughs> Why am I inferior to you? I would like to dub this strat the Akechi strat. Who needs teammates? Man, Akechi was right the whole fucking time. Teammates are fucking for losers. I'm exhausted. I feel like I just ran a fucking marathon. I legit just ran a marathon, guys. I'm starting to think that the Akechi strat is how I should live my life in the answers. Maybe I should just handle it that way for like every fight. I'm doing it, Chad! I'm doing it! Oracle! I think I'll do that. Watch Oracle give me like HP or something. Did it help? of the run. Imagine Oracle! This is gonna be fun. Oh! Makoto! No! All right, one more save, and then uh, this is the final boss fight. You guys ready for the final boss fight of the entire game? This is it. Calling it. Caesar, what the heck? Oh, I just noticed that.
Is that what Metis is? Wait a second. So, would that make Metis is like a, um, she results in Igus's is that something? I don't know. What is that? What would that mean? Be Shadows are created as a result of human emotion. So, like, the whole Makoto Yugi thing is obvious because, like, they're all grieving over him, so, like, the shadows form. Yes, okay, there's that. But, like, um, what if, like, Metis is formed as a result of... I, I don't know, like... I think Metis is me. I don't think we're sisters. I think she's, like, a part of me that was, like, ripped out or something. Something, something, something. I'll show you my truth. I'm running out of SP. Can we kill Makoto fast? Kill him a little bit faster. Oh, I feel bad saying that. It feels awful to say that. What was that sound effect? There's a way for him to come back. I'll take it. No matter what. Yukari is heavily frustrating, but she is that one character that you can relate to because most of us acted like her whenever we were her age. She'll grow up, but like, she is, she is relatable, even if it's unlikable. There's a difference. I, I actually really like it. Even if there was a way to reverse Shinji and Miki's death, I'd flat out refuse. Hmm. See, this is also why I like Akiko more, because I like characters that can get their shit together, but at the same time, I like the realism in Yukari. Going back to before that battle means we have to fight Nyx again. No! Anything but fighting Nyx again! Did you ever think about what might happen if we lose this time? <laughs> no! Just like the day we said our farewells to him, and you were the only one who didn't show up. Ooh! Ho <laughs> ho ho! You got to hear his last words. You even made him a promise. But here you are, still running. Damn, girl! Why were you the one who inherited his power when you can't even make up your mind? <gasps> ah! The friendship has been split. How will you make your final decision? I really like this a lot. I really like this. A lot of times in games when there's like conflict between the party, it feels forced. I feel I feel like it's forced a lot, but right now it feels so good. It feels genuinely good in the writing because it's all just a result of how different people mourn and handle death. It's really good. It comes from a really good place. See, this is, oh, this is so good. Because, like, it, it makes sense that Mitsuru and Yukari would act the same way in regards to this because they acted very similar in their mourning for their for their fathers. They they acted very similarly. So, like, they, of course they would act the same way here, too, and take each other's sides. And then you have Ken and Akihiko, who lost somebody close to them, and they ended up solving it the same way. Of course, they would be together on this. It's really good. And Fuka makes sense here. Like... Uh, Fuka has never really... She hasn't really lost anyone super close to her. Like, her family's alive. She just lost Makoto and she just lost Shinji. She doesn't know what to do. So she's like, I just kind of want to stick to what the leader says because I don't know how to feel. But this is a real battle. And there will be consequences if they lose. Uh, real battle? Wait, no! <sighs> I didn't think I'd actually be fighting them. There's no need to worry about us when we're about to go at it. If you can't choose... Side with Igis. Man, I really wish that was in a different context whenever Akiko says, whenever we're about to go at it. Like, come on. Oh, wow, what a shocker. Persona. All right, Akiko, me and you, me and you, one on one. Ugh. I wouldn't want it any other way, buddy. I didn't like that fight. No! I can't believe I just did that to Akiko. <laughs> just don't think Igis can win against Yucatan right now. Sorry. Dude, that's true. How do we win against Yukari, who can, like, fucking use me Diara hand? Like, she can just constantly heal. Because Mitsuru can heal, as too. Much of a hard ass as I oh, dude. Oh. oh, are we gonna get Marin Karen? We're gonna be Marin Karen. It's the end. Oh, why did they make me feel bad? Don't do that. Uh huh, poor Jubei. Right, <laughs> oh, what a way to end. Let's just go in and get fucked. How about that? I just, you know what? I love a good fuckery. Let's just get fucked. We'll be fine. 
Charm? What's charm? Sexy dance, it starts already. <laughs> she used it right away! No hesitation! She went right there! Woo, girl! You don't miss a beat, do you? <laughs> she was so fucking ready for that! I won't hold back. What are you gonna do, sexy dance? I summon me. Oh my god, when did you get Vorpal Blade? Hello? <laughs> Just whipping skills out of their ass. You know, that would have been nice whenever, you know, you were on my side, but now that they're on the other side, they're like, oh yeah, I never wanted to have Vorpal Blade anyway. Myriad Arios? Yeah, I never wanted that skill whenever I was with you. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Oh, nice! Do that again! Dang. Oh my God! Yukari getting pummeled to the What's ground the like Is normal. That, that may not have been what you meant at the time. But even now, I consider your being at my side last year as one of the most cherished moments of my life. Oh, that sounds so gay. Oh. If something ever happened to make you suffer, I'd put my own feelings aside and stand with you. That's so cute! Wait, so you mean to tell me? Wait, let me just let me just get this straight. You mean to tell me that my meme, my motherfucking meme, is the answer, is the key to this entire game? My horny jail? I, after this, I'm gonna retire from playing video games. How the fuck? How? Just how? Just I'm about. officially announcing right now that this is my last stream, everybody. It was nice getting to know you all. Whoa! What the hell? What you doing? That is so terrifying. Oh. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that's. Whoa, the music. Oh shit. Oh, that's the same attack as Nyx! Oh, no! Beat him up! Beat him up! Oh! Get fucked, kid! Woo! He beat himself up! That's so good! I didn't even have to do it! I'm ready to start the morning of April 1st. Oh, April Fool's Day! What a great way to come back! Oh my oh god, my. we're all in the velvet room! Whoa! Psych, I guess it's fine. Huh? Just kidding, what? I don't actually know if she's Wait, okay. Is this? Is this a prank? This is an April Fool's joke, isn't it? Or is she just never gonna wake up? She might just be permanently sleeping. You took so long to wake <sighs> up, we thought you might have died. April Fools! This bitch! How I quit! Could this be? Now that we're not in any danger, I'm about to pass out. Maybe I can sleep standing up. What? Wait. Oh, Junpei-kun. He actually did? Thank you so much. Oh. It's an honor to be able to stay with you all. Oh. Oh, that's cute. That was a fun experience. I did, I did enjoy that experience a lot, the answer. Like, it's, yeah, it's very grindy, so I, I don't think I would suggest it if people don't want to grind a lot. But I don't know. I really enjoyed the challenges of the mini bosses, honestly. The mini bosses I found pretty fun to figure out. So, like, if you're a person that doesn't like challenges, I guess, then maybe it's not for you, but just watching the story, I think, is worth it. Like, I don't know. I enjoy the closure in the story. I like seeing how, like, all of these characters deal with mourning, too. I think that there's a nice message behind that. How everyone deals with death, how everyone grieves differently and mourns differently. Because, like, you, you end the journey just feeling sad because you die, right? But this at least gives you hope. It teaches you to get through your mourning, you know? 
I like that Makoto Yuki goes from this main character that doesn't give a fuck about life to... Well, he does. That's the thing, like... That's what's cool about him. He, like, doesn't give a fuck, but he really does give a fuck. <laughs> 